Welcome to your Sony Android TV. Select your language preference. To complete this initial Android TV setup, we recommend using your Android phone or tablet for a faster and smooth setup. This method will allow you to easily connect your Google account and wireless network information for a seamless setup, which will complete your setup in a few clicks. To set up your TV with Android, select Yes and follow the instructions on the screen. Find the Google app on your phone or download the app if needed. In the search box, type Set up my device. Continue to follow the steps on your phone to complete the setup. To set up manually, select Skip here by using the up and down arrows on your remote and then pressing Select. Next, use the remote to select your Wi-Fi network from the right-hand side. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Your TV will now connect to Wi-Fi. Check for updates and apply any necessary updates automatically. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, you will have the option to sign in to your existing Google account. To do so, you can use either your phone, computer, or remote. We will show you how to sign in with your remote. Select Use Your Remote on the screen. You can then use your remote to sign in with your Google account with your username and password. After you've reviewed and accepted the Google Terms of Service, decided whether or not to utilize the location feature, and selected whether or not to help improve Android performance, you will be prompted to choose a name for your TV. This will help you easily identify your Sony TV when connecting to your smart home devices. Scroll through the name options on the right-hand side and press Select on your remote once you've found an appropriate name. Next, select your region and then review the Sony privacy policy. You will also be able to set up voice recognition at a later time. And once you get to this step, how will your TV receive programming? You can visit our Bravia tutorials for more detailed information after you have completed the setup. For now, we will select Skip to complete the setup. Your setup is now complete. Your Android TV offers a variety of features. To confirm that your Google account has loaded, Next, go to the top right settings icon and press select. Scroll down to the very bottom to see that your Google account name shows up. If it does, then your Google account has synced and any existing IoT devices you have already connected to your Google Home account will now be able to be commanded through your TV. Any additional devices you'd like to connect, you can do so from the Google Home app on your phone. Once you make sure these devices are connected, Please check the Google Home app on your phone to ensure that it is linked to your Google account. Next, we will demonstrate how to set up voice command on your remote. The first time you press the remote control button, you have to choose if you'd like to turn on voice commands. Select Turn On, then select Allow. You can now ask your TV to do things like, what's the weather? Play Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. That's the plan. Turn up the volume to 25. Turn off the TV. Not only do you have Bravia tutorials, you could also go to Settings or click the Help button on the bottom left of your remote. You can also troubleshoot. Your Android screen will be preloaded with content, and you can add and remove this content by doing the following. Push left on your remote so you can customize channels, or by pushing left, hitting enter, you can remove a channel. Your Sony Android TV and voice command are now set up.